Microsoft Project 2013 is basically a task organizing program. So any project you want to take on, like building a house or writing a book, typically requires many steps or what are referred to as tasks in the project program. A very basic and simple sample would be to say I'm writing a book. For example, my first task would be to research the book and then next write the book and then finally print the book. Now these tasks here are linked up in a relationship, meaning that, for example, I cannot start task 2 unless its predecessor task 1 has been completed. This will make sense in this project because if I haven't researched anything in task 1, then I have nothing to write about in task 2, and then finally nothing to print in task 3. Now, these tasks are usually tracked on a timeline here, which is each task is allotted so much time, like in hours, days, weeks, or months to be completed. And if one task takes longer than its set time, then as a result, all of our project here will be extended beyond its due date and of course be late. Now, each task is going to require some resources, and there are three types of resources. You have your workers, which is who's going to work on task 1, task 2, and so on. For example, task 2, writing the book, you can have, hey, writers. And then the next resource would be materials. So once they're working on writing the book, do they need a ream of paper to write the book on, or are they going to use a word processing program like Word 2013? And then finally, you have the cost between the two. Are you going to pay your workers hourly or salary? And of course, the cost of the materials. Now, you have one additional resource, which is your budget, but we'll go over that in a later training video. We're going to break it down as you see it here, step by step, in the Project 2013 Level 1 training videos.